Hey guys, Reggie here with uh, Tines Up. And uh, this afternoon I'm gonna clean our new Blackout Series jumping jack. I just washed it. I'm gonna open it up and uh, clean it out, put it away for a couple months. These are one of our favorite toys. Uh, these things are awesome in so many ways that this new one you can put a four-seater razor up on there or three four-wheelers. This is the blackout uh, edition. It's got super high clearance with those big tires, uh, aftermarket wheels, and they're perfect for uh, hunting, family camping, uh, quick fish trip, uh, just about anything. They're so quick and convenient. Uh, there's nothing like them. I think it was clear back in 2007, 2008, uh, we started working with Jumping Jack and uh, started to promote their trailers and uh, we got one of their small uh, standard size uh, trailers that we use for 10 plus years. We still have it. Uh, you take good care of them and uh, they'll last forever. They're heavy duty built, that's for sure. But uh, every year I think we just like them that much more. They are. Uh, there's too many good things that I that I could say about the jumping jacks. They are awesome and uh, an absolute must-have if you're a weekend warrior or you're always on the run to get out and hit the hills. Uh, like I said, whether you're fishing, camping, hunting, scouting, whatever it might be, they're so quick and uh, convenient. Well, let's uh, walk around the trailer and I'll show you some close-up views of everything so start down here with the tires and wheels these are super tall tires they're 235 85 16s on race line wheels this is the black eye edition trailer it's crazy high clearance i mean i we've taken these things on some crazy side trails to get us a little bit closer to the animals and man they They've done work. We've never drug bought them, but anyways, there's the this big trailer takes the two and five sixteenths ball with the safety chains, breakaway cable, and the heavy duty jack with the big uh, plug. There it is. You can put three full size foilers on there, or a four seater razor, or if you don't have a razor, a lot of times. We just throw our bags and our coolers and everything right up on there if we don't need bikes. Strap them down in the front. There's the back view. Like I said earlier, you want to get you some long loading ramps. Especially if you have the blackout, they set up high. And if you have really short loading ramps, you'll drag bottom. Kind of like Lance did with his big Kawasaki side by side there. Bent that. Gotta get it, get that straightened out. But anyways, there it is. This blackout has some sweet lights, LED lights. These little things here. They twist in right like this. Secure the fold outs. Then you just latch them on there. Charles here to help me, so I'll have him. So you just loosen those up. Fold it over. Fold it out. Oh, yeah, they're heavy. They're heavy duty. Okay, and then these side pins right here. Hold the tailgate from coming down. I like to set them right here. Another one. Usually I hold down, it doesn't fall down like that, but then that tailgate falls down, and there you have the tent. Now I've never taken my tent out, but you can pull out the tent and use this trailer to haul anything that you need moving. If you're moving or throw your 
yard limbs in there, trimming trees, whatnot. But this thing's for hunting, scouting, and camping. I'm not taking the tent out of this one. So, anyways, zipper is underneath this little flap right here. Right there. So, lift that flap up, we'll zip it all down, peel back the top, it folds up on the front, and then uh, we will pitch it up. So, see you in a second. Well, the trail bailed on me, so I'll show you how to do it. I can do it myself, not a problem. Do it all the time. There's one wing. This is a big tent. There's two, so now I have it out. Let me show you what I'm gonna do. Take this off the tripod. So, see these? I try to square it up the best I can. And then latch this underneath here, pull it. And that kind of secures the tent from, I don't know if I'd really go anywhere, but that's what those are for. Now, I'm going to unzip the front and go in and stand it up. And then I'll break out the inside vacuum it, then I'll show it to you. We've had some pretty muddy camps the last couple trips, so you're looking good though. Okay, we'll see you in a minute. The guys at Jumping Jack probably have their own way of pulling this tent up. But uh, this bigger one, I like to go inside and stand it up. The little small guy, single axle, I can just stand on the back and uh, pop it up. This is a little tougher. easy big old tent yeah and it's high off the ground I do need to build us a little they come with a little step right there but I kind of want to build a bigger one because uh, it's really high off the ground super high off the ground but there's the inside the bed extenders ton of cushions you can sleep six in here pretty easy we've slept up to eight but you know three four fives plenty get all your gear in there it gets pretty tight if you have more than three or four of you with all your stuff but it's Big and spacious, and it is sweet. If you only have two of you, take these bed extenders out. You don't even need them. You have gobs of room, ton of room. Okay, well, I'm gonna clean it up, put the cushions up, put the table up. Table's folded down there in the middle. Fold that up and uh, vacuum it out, and we'll show it to you again. Oh, yeah, I need to show you this. So, this here is the front cover. You fold that up and see this buckle right here? There's another buckle down here. Wraps around this, buckles in there. I'll show you. I'll get the tripod. Alright, so here's the strap. There's 
the other strap. So, fold this up like this. Go around this here. Tuck it in like that. Around. Just like that. You can make it look as pretty as you want, but that's good enough for me. Okay, well, we got the tent pitched up. We got the vacuum out, cleaned it all out. Cleaned a couple cushions that are over there drying. And uh, I'll show you the inside. Super nice. So, they come with all kinds of cushions. You can arrange them however you want, depending on how many you have sleeping. This here, if you need more bed space, these bed extenders go in the frame and lock in there. And there's four of them, two on each side. So you can leave the back more open or the front more open. And uh, there's the table. It has a little latch right here that holds it. You can, it just goes down like that, fold it. To put it up, you just go like that. Well, here we are back. It's been a couple days. We uh, washed three or four of the uh, pad, pad cushion coverings the covers and then we uh the floor was a little wet so pulled it out let it dry and then i'm just now putting the foam back in the cushions so yeah pretty slick these cushions wash up nice and uh foam goes right in there right against the bo backing board and then uh, let's get them two cushions done and then we'll put the tent back down and put it in the garage. There we have it. We have the cushions all broke down. The bed extenders laid in here. Uh, I like to put the cushions on each side like that so that when I come in here to pull it down, I have a place to walk and I'm not walking on the cushions. So. There we are. I'll put the camera on the tripod and I'll go in and start taking it down. So the tent folds up underneath this rubbery tarp fill, sets right inside this big heavy duty case. And up front, the case zips on both sides. Fold that all in like that, and then we'll take our top tarp, fold it over the top, zip it up, seal it up. Make sure you stop the zippers right up here in the corner. So let's, let's do that.
after we do that, we'll slide the pins in. Right there. I don't want to take them, put them on right now, because I'm going to show you guys how the table works. So let's do that. Take it off, you just take the pin out. If it was level, it would be a lot better. Perfect. Camp table that goes on the front right there. Put our barbecue on there all the time. Uh, lantern, everything. Cook right on there. Awesome little setup. Let's put it back together and go put it up. Okay hey guys, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the little review on the Jumping Jack trailer. Again, this is the large uh, Blackout Tandem Edition, but even the smaller one is very similar. They all work the same. Uh, awesome trailers. If you want to check them out, go to jumpingjacktrailers.com, uh, contact Rob. They hit up a lot of expos and shows throughout the year. Uh, they can probably point you in the right direction to show that they'll be attending that's near you. So you go uh, check them out for yourself and uh, put your hands on one. But these things are awesome. And uh, I recommend the Jummy Jack trailer to everybody.